in I'm chilling 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 it's been a minute Podcast with no name. Okay, so you can intro the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Podcast with no name. What's mm. up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Back again. Episode 34. Ruby V DJ Zuck mm. in the cut. What? You're watching this. Make sure that you subscribe already. Right now. Right now. Mm-hmm. I'm giving you five seconds. All right. Five, four, three, two, two one. one. Subscribe, right. All right, we're about to get in it. It's been a minute since we recorded. Yeah. Two weeks now. Yeah. How have you been? I've been good, man. What's, what's good? Chilling. You're looking happy. What's Thank up? <laughs> My baby was in town. Yeah, I know that. She <laughs> told me. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, you people talk? Yeah, nigga. Okay. She my girl. All right. What's up? Yeah. yeah. Shout out. Shout out to Zach's baby. You know, you so. know, wherever you are, <laughs> whenever you, wherever you are, man. Yeah, Shout so. out to you for always supporting. So how's it? Did you get to hang out? Because I know the schedule was like. It was super. crazy. We didn't yeah. get to hang out that much. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. The, the, it was crazy. They it got, was crazy. They got to hang out. <laughs> <laughs> That's why this nigga is happy and let's glowing. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Stop. Yeah, so uh, definitely hosted the wine tasting mm. last week. Actually, that's the reason I couldn't make it to the to the recording because I didn't have my voice. <laughs> my tonsils were like acting up. Mm. And, uh, you know, it was a good time. We had fun. Mm. It was a very great experience. Um, guys, like we enjoyed the cheese, like going through the wine journeys and everything. Yeah. Please, you know what what happened mm. during that period of time? My phone went out on like Saturday, mm. so my screen like stopped working. Mm. And then the fundi who was giving me like a back and forth. <laughs> so the time I was getting my phone back up was mm. like Tuesday on the day of the gig. Oh shit! I was meant to invite you, but you know what? Now that I'm back up, you should definitely come to the next event. Okay. You're going I'll, to I'll, drink I'll try. some I'll, alcohol. Yeah, I'll try and make... You know the, the challenges? Like, yeah, 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 for I sure, thought. for sure. No, so no, no, I get, I get I can, that. If I can try and balance it, yeah. of course, I'll, I'll definitely yeah. throw up. It, yeah. we're, we're planning to do like a second edition of Wine and Cheese on the 1st of June. Mm. That's Madaraka Day. Mm. So like do like a nice afternoon into evening plan. Okay. Yeah, and just kind of vibe out, have some fun. These past two weeks or last week, mm. I was like... Wilding. <laughs> okay, what? Well, so I've let's decided. Let's talk about it. <laughs> That's all I ever want to hear. Yo. Like you talk about it. Don't Yo. tell me we were wilding and then we ended up that. Oh my tell god! Me what oh happened. my god! Oh my god! Listen, mm-hmm. the weirdest, the funniest thing happened. So yeah. I go to the wine tasting. Mm-hmm. Um, you remember back, back, back. The good thing about my stories is like, you know, they're real because there's something to reference. You remember we were talking about Bumble, right? Mm. And signing up on a dating app, blah, blah, mm. blah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I told you like there were two guys that I was talking to at that time. Mm. One of them went to Turkey. I haven't talked to him like in like a couple of weeks. Mm. And then the other one came to the wine tasting mm. he paid for his ticket and like we were having like a such a great ass time mm-hmm. <sighs> oh my god you found no. yourself in kiambu again <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> where did you find yourself this no, time yeah. i didn't wait to kiambu <laughs> no <laughs> so what happened was mm. um so me and this guy, obviously, like, we're talking. Yeah. I, I enjoyed his company more than I thought that I would. Yeah. And then, you know, so the after, the after party of the plan mm. was, you know, we were going to end up somewhere else. Mm. I mean, like, me and my girl, because it was date night with my friend. Also, guys, like, you know, having, like, nice casual conversations or, you know, channeling, growing your platonic relationships is also just as important as growing your romantic relationships. Yeah. So me and my girl, I'm like, yo, after we leave this spot, so we, we, we started off at Village Market mm. and then we ended up at ABC Place. Okay. And this is like four or five in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Like I didn't expect to be out that late. Mm-hmm. It's raining. We're sauced than a motherfucker. Like it's, it's just a time and then, you know. I had an after party plan, which I went to. Okay. And well, like a, you're telling me, this is five in the morning. So yeah. The after party plan was what? Five in the morning. Jesus. Like, okay, so okay. what happened was. <laughs> 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 so while I'm out for mm. the tasting, um, you know, I was supposed to go see somebody. Okay. And 
I, I didn't have the, like, I don't have any transport apps on my phone. Mm. So I asked this guy, like, yo, can you add a stop to your rider? Mm. And then you can drop me and my friend off. Mm. And then as you proceed to go wherever it is that you're going. Mm. Tell me why we get to the spot and, and this nigga to... is getting out the cab. Mm. So I'm looking at this guy like, yo, yo what the fuck going on? So I'm just like confused as hell. Okay. And you got two I, players in the I got two fucking <laughs> players <laughs> in the basketball court. Yo, yeah. listen, I did. A, so I'm looking. I'm, I'm like, okay. At this point, I'm not even coach. I'm just like, what, what the fuck is going to happen? What's okay. going to go down? Yeah. Anyway, everyone else was recommending the home nigga. Let's call him the home nigga because it was at a house, the after party. Everybody was recommending the home nigga. They were telling me like, yo, Ruby, home nigga is a G. If it was me, if he would have pulled up with a guy to my house, that's, I didn't pull up with him. He, he, he invited himself. Exactly. Okay. He came out the cab because yeah. my understanding of the whole situation was. At a stop. At a stop. Then <laughs> my my enjoyment plan, you know? Sometimes so, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yo, though. listen, I played it so fucking cool. Yeah. I actually was because we were going up the stairs. Mm. Downstairs, I was like, yo, um, let's just wait here. Mm. So it's me in the middle of these two players. Mm. I'm like, let's just wait here as he requests his cab. And then he's gonna go home. Mm. And then the home nigga is like, nah, 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 it's raining. Mm. And we weren't even like in the rain. We mm. were sheltered. He's like, nah, 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 it's raining. Let's just go upstairs. He can request a cab from upstairs. Mm. But anyway, at the end of the day, you know, one of those niggas left. Found himself. Okay, so good. So good up in this Yo! Hood. Yo, no. I'm talking. I'm, Listen. What? Okay, I mean, I ain't gonna clarify. Yeah, I'm I'm saying, no, like, that was dope. It was. It was. It dope. was cool. It was cool. It was cool. When yeah. the guy got me sauced as fuck. Yeah. Anyway, no. So Mo good though. Moving on swiftly. Damn. I that saying. was one hell of a. Listen. From I was being lost in Kiambu in the other week <laughs> to now. Get, oh, it it really, I can't it wait. What next week is going to be about? No. <laughs> next week is going to be. No. Oh. Last week after wilding last mm. week and everybody like, because I tried to explain like guys for real. Mm. I didn't know. You know it was a bunch of us in the house. It was like maybe five six people I think. Mm. And everybody saw me pull up with this other guy, mm. right? Yeah. And then everybody also knew the home nigga was was home. Yeah. So everyone was just like, "Yo, you Ruby, you cool?" Yeah, they were like, "Ruby, you so cool." I'm like, first of all, this was not planned. I did not intend for this nigga oh, to be here. But anyway, dope. okay. There's no other story. I've no, I'm just saying like the way every weekend has like some <laughs> interesting like I can't wait for our next episode Ooh. next week. Yeah, so. Say Nicole on my celibacy. Mm. It's officially kicked okay. off and right. you know, where All right. <laughs> Austin <laughs> is looking at me like, oh really? It's it's facts, it's okay. facts. But moving on swiftly. Oh, if I may. Yes. Please. I uh, see dead people. Oh hold on. Must I don't be help Monster Hunter, come on. Let's go back. It's over. I see dead people. It's over. Yo. Somebody dead. That shit was <laughs> crazy. You know, Kendrick was like, all right, you guys were talking shit. I gave you a record. You talk shit again. You said I can't make a banger. Bounce, bitch. Like. <laughs> No, the thing is, what I want to talk about, like yeah. fuck, everything else we're about to talk about, I'm, yeah. I'm sure 150 people have, talk, have, have, have talked, talked about, about it. about it, yes. What I want to talk about was yeah. uh, J. Cole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't, no slander. No, 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 no. Okay. I'm not slandering J. Cole. Uh -huh. When he bowed out of this shit, yeah. everyone was like clowning him. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now guys are like, maybe. Respect. Respect. But me, I'm saying... What? What if he knew he had like some skeletons that were way worse than Listen, these other I, shit? I really feel like there's not an entertainer who doesn't have some dirt in their closet. Yes, that's but fact. I'm saying for him to pull out of that um, battle like that, knowing where he is, yeah. knowing his caliber of rhyming, he must have known like, okay, some of the shit that I've done that people know about, 
I don't think I want you want it in the public. Yeah, in the public like I, that. Maybe that that's a that's definitely an angle, but mm. I I feel like more as a like a Cole fan knowing that he keeps to himself and having watched like a bunch of interviews where um I can't remember there was a rapper who was in the studio. I don't know if it was Bia or somebody else. Mm. There was a time they they had like a session and Cole Cole was in the studio. Mm. So she was like complaining about some stuff. <laughs> So Cole she said like Cole walked in mm. like listen to her like yapping and then just walked the fuck out yeah he was like yo like, this, this energy, kind of energy is yeah. not cool so I'm thinking like he was on his namaste I'm peaceful type shit like yeah. I love both your names I really feel like Cole was like as guys were at the top now mm. see we just rap like the way we used to rap in this <laughs> studio which is what Kendrick was begging this guy to do I think Drake yeah no Cole. Drake Drake was out like yeah where is the boogie man I've been calling this nigga for 9 years yeah. blah, 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 blah. and then <laughs> Kendrick was like okay we if we can keep it rap yeah let's or keep it can, rap or but we if can you want to go the there shit. yeah I can go there when they started talking about like family issues this yeah. when I was like That's yo this saying, is like, This was like super super personal yeah. but I feel like at the same time that was what made the beef entertaining the fact that we were hearing all these types of things because again when the beef is too friendly like when Cole tried to be nice <laughs> and gave us seven minute drill and we're all like what the fuck bro yeah, don't yeah, nobody want to yeah, hear that yeah. shit but like now it's like oh did you hear what he said and then you're looking at the opponent like are yeah. you gonna address this are you gonna yeah, talk about this yeah. I think that was like pretty cool but I, like but the The one thing I th- for me yeah the personal shit is not my favorite yeah. I only liked it when Pusha T did it to to, to Drake yeah. I think it's because I just don't like the dude I yeah. mean there are those people in the world like let's not act like we are we we're just you know friendly and yeah there are people who we just don't like mm-hmm. for no reason mm-hmm. like they've never done anything to us we don't know them yeah but their it's faces just, like, just don't look like <laughs> they piss you off like This guy called Kasipul, he's never done nothing to me. I, I I'm I'm sorry. He's the nicest he guy I know. You off. But I just don't like dude. I just don't like him. So, so you're saying that's Drake, the same thing with Drake. Yeah. He has never done anything like I feel like, you know, I feel, I, I feel the I kind feel, of hate, but I just don't like him. I so f- when he was killed, yeah. I was like, "Oh shit, yeah." Me personally, first of all, can I just say I've enjoyed watching this beef mm. as a neutral party? No. Because Cole left and I was like, "Ay, uh. cool. I'm not vested <laughs> anymore." So now, like looking at both camps going like, you know, to war, mm. I really think Drake did some shit. And and like there's people who are always explaining like um his like attitude is very arrogant. Yeah, the arrogance yeah. and which which is the one that one thing that kind of like got him to That murdered. The, where, where murdered. He, he got murdered. Listen, I, I, okay, fi- okay, fine. Mm. We're saying Kendrick mm. took took this. Yeah. But can we also say Drake has been rapping his ass off? It's not He's like that rapping. nigga didn't the rap. The thing is, for me, I'm sorry, but like for me, they used to say Guru from Gangsta mm-hmm. had a monotone sound. Mm-hmm. He would, he just had like, but it was just his voice. Yeah. But when he was rapping, he used to incorporate different cadences. He used to do bars and maybe break at a certain point and continue. He used to do different things. Mm-hmm. Drake has one style. If he's not doing the melodic shit, if he's rapping, he's one style. A bar, break for two seconds. A bar, break for two seconds. Yeah. So that shit, like if you hear one song, two st- three songs you're like okay i've had enough like i can't for me my brain can't yeah listen to anything but i think that happens that. with like you, plenty artists also no a lot of guys like they you know they it, this is now getting technical but i'm just yeah. what i'm saying is like Let's talk people about it. you can have a style that go like da 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 you mm-hmm. understand mm-hmm. then we can switch it to other things but mm-hmm. drake is da 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 That sounds like more like me goes right now. No, 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 no. Like there's too like many. A... There's always something, and then a break, and then you can't like really weave out of your of the beat and just continue yeah. a pattern like so, something different. Because he can rap. Yeah. That one we haven't. Yeah, disagreed. he can. But it's just that one style of rap. If you can take vocals from this song, put them on that song. Yeah. And another song, they all sound the same. The sound is. I mean, so for me, that's my beef with that's, Drake. I'm that's sounding, what pissed you off yeah. about like this. Not pissed me off. Yeah. It's just like I can't. It's boring. Yeah, for me, it's boring. Okay, it's me. Boring. I'll, so I'll when I listen say, to Kendrick, mm. um, as the style also for 
for the whole battle, mm-hmm. apart from the um, um, meet the grams, mm-hmm. everything else also I didn't like. Because it's a style that is sort of like offbeat. My brain can't... You feel me? Like, yeah, it's, it's I, my I brain. Won't lie, we, on, not, DJ, on not like us, yeah. the first off, like the first listen, I was like, what kind of flows are these? Yeah, like, they're all... He's missing like the beat yeah, and it, stuff. And it it's was, on purpose. Because like even on the, the last song that we were dancing on, yeah. sounds a lot like what uh, E40 used to do. It's like a, E40, okay. it's like a Bay Area yeah. style. Mm-hmm. But for me, as a DJ, I'm always trying to like nudge the vocals or hold the beat because yeah. I want them to align Yeah, because one is no, behind. No, I feel you. I feel you so on it, that. It confuses the shit out of I me. I feel, so. oh, you, me personally, like offbeat raps have yeah. never been a thing that well, I've like... Well, there are like, some that are like really dope. Like who? Um, J Dilla and Slum Village. Okay. They do something where it's off, but it's not off because it's like they're not matching. It's slightly offset mm. to give you... a so that if you're if you're nodding your head, you are not mechanical. Yeah, it has a swing. Yeah, you understand. Yeah. So there's that style. Okay. Then, no, I can yeah. get that. Yeah, but there's this offbeat that sounds like a DJ got the beat and he's trying to match the vocals, mm-hmm. and it doesn't get. It the doesn't get right. together. Yeah. So that's where, like, for me, the offbeat doesn't work. Yeah. But there's plenty of rappers who do off. Akina Riza from Wu Tang yeah. back in the day, Sons yeah. of Men, Killer Army. All these guys used to rap offbeat. Yeah. And it sounds dope. Yeah. Uh. Ro- it's called Rock, Ma- Rock Marciano, mm-hmm. the new crop of like uh, offbeat rappers. Yeah, it's, it sounds dope. I'm, I'm still, but the, yeah. the one that <laughs> Akina Kendrick and even all these other new rappers are doing, yeah, it, it kind of puts me off. Like, I'm a DJ first, yeah, so I'm like, Listen, well, I was no, listening to Not no Like Us. The, the, I think the, the thing that saved Not Like Us for me were like the, the quotables in there. Because, mm. you know, for, for a while, guys were like, was it Drake who doesn't have the quotables or Kendrick? I don't know. Like they were saying one of the two rappers mm. doesn't have like memorable. Oh, yeah. They were saying Kendrick doesn't have memorable lines. That was a debate that actually came for up. Which, for which song? Like for anything. They were like, think of any Kendrick bar. Give me like a, a thing that stuck out, and and uh, of course all the things that we were coming up I'm with. I'm trying to murder you niggas. I'm not trying to hear none. You, you know the whole controversy. Yeah. Yo, what? How many people can say that they do though? I think I uh, no. You guys got Kendrick fucked up. No, no. You niggas wait, got Kendrick. I didn't. I didn't I, say it. It was a like thing that happened on online. When you put on a spot like this, it, it gets hard to like think of quotables. Yeah. Even my. You can ask me for my favorite rapper. What's yeah. Spot? You Bigel, don't. What's yeah. a Bigel quotable? I can't think of any right now because yeah. I'm on the spot. But come on. They really you try to. Kendrick they really try up. to. They really try to say that. But then I'm like, okay, cool. I think now that's what he was trying to do with this. Is like, oh, you think oh. this nigga is the biggest pop star? Like, oh. nigga, I get it. Yeah, like. <laughs> That, Yo, oh, he's, he's ringing like, up oh, everywhere. Oh. Boom. <laughs> Listen, dude, I even went back to like that. Initially, I was like, this shit boring. Now I went back to it. I'm listening to like oh. 45 minutes of two niggas writing poems to each other. Back and <laughs> forth, back and forth. I'm just like, get in the ring. Give us a pay-per-view. Yeah. Do what you need to do. But, hey, yo. but on Me the Grounds, he talked to the boy. Yo. He wasn't rapping. Yo. He was talking to the boy. Listen. He was like... It was like a therapist. Listen, when he <laughs> when he said, Sandra, <laughs> sit down. But like, this nigga should die. Yo! I was like, Kendrick, yeah, I know you, you don't like this guy. Yeah. The, the, the way the, you know, it's not just one. Um, yeah. It's not the same type of flow. Exactly, it's not a, it's yeah, not monotone. Yeah, so it's, there's just, diff- it's almost you, like there's different characters that he's pulling exactly, into the, yeah. the. So that's the one thing I miss from. From Drake, from Drake. Even, even though he rapped. I, I think that I think nigga rapped. still wrapped his ass off. He tried. He still for the for the caliber of rappers is, is compared to he rapped. And he did but and he didn't put him and, other, and he didn't back down. He the last the last uh he Okay, he was, that was that one he quit. The last one he was like, you know what, just keep dropping, I'm done. You know No, that that's not keep dropping, I'm done. That's him just knowing like this this is not it's gonna over. end well. Yes. But I've seen, yeah. um, I think today he posted something on his Instagram story or yesterday, mm. um, something like uh, when 
it was some sad <laughs> ass shit. Mm. You know, he's like, when I die, <laughs> people are going to remember me. But you, when you died, like, is anyone going to notice uh, that you weren't even there? It's like, on. boohoo, nigga. You Don't nobody give a up. fuck about yeah. that right there. They're, they're trying so many things to get out of this battle. Because yeah. even I have, an, I, have a, I have a theory about the shootout. What? Yes, house. actually, let's talk about yeah, that. Yeah, that one I feel like, that's my theory though. Yeah. Don't, you know. What? Don't get it fucked up. What? It's not like I'm saying this is facts. This is facts, yeah. Because people are, yo. This people big, are scrambling. This people, there's people on, there's people like Mall, Mall. Yo, this nigga Of your mall. Come on, my he brother. He was crying. Hurt. Dude was hurt more than Drake. Even. I swear, yo. Ish. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Chill out. It's just a, it's just a battle. These guys are crying. It was so funny. Anyway, so I'm thinking that whole theory, that my theory is mm. the only way you can get the, this whole thing to stop is to try and trick people into thinking that it can turn into some ugly shit. It can turn into like a gunplay, mm. one of those things. Yeah. So it might be like an inside job. <laughs> Oh, God, you really think he did that? Aubrey is not that smart. Because he, he said that we, we planted the mole to do what, to do what, and then ended up saying, like, whoever is giving you that information he's, is a clown, is stupid, clown. I'm not so a pedophile. He's, giving blah, 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 himself blah. The, the, he's calling himself a clown because he did that. Exactly. So maybe... maybe but I saw people trying to bring an angle to why he said that. Yeah. Trying to justify that shit. Nah, come do you, on. Do you believe the shit about him having a daughter? Not really, but the rumors must have been there from Kitambo. It's not something. There's just articles actually from like from 11 20, years ago yeah, that something. showed yeah. someone like had sued Drake and they needed a paternity test. Nini, nini. Yeah, it's crazy, dog. Now that we're here, guys, actually, now that you're watching this, mm-hmm. how you feeling, Team Drake, Team Kendrick, or the realist Dreamville? It's cold world, nigga. Team Cole, <laughs> all day, Cole, every day. Cole bowed out a lot. Exactly, time that's why we're saying we're still with him because yeah. guys try to say, "Oh my God, Cole, you're not relevant. You're not doing the thing. You say you want the smoke." And you know, actually, I, after after listening to all these diss tracks, right, mm-hmm. I came to understand that when Cole is saying like, "I want to smoke," he's not talking about like put my wife on blast and my kids. He's talking about like, I can go bar for bar. Yeah. If you want to rap, I can rap I can too. Rap, yeah. You want to write, I can write. Let's do it. Mm. But like these guys, it was like, cool. Ebu, song Kwanza. Like, I really want to fight this nigga. Like, don't, <laughs> don't worry about your raps. Like, you, you've been solidified. Yeah, and on, on, on Not Like Us, actually, Kendrick said some... What he say? Uh, you did call dirty. Mm. And then, uh, why are you still pretending? And I was like, yo, Drake, what the hell did you do? To call for it to be said that you acted some type of way. Yeah. But did you see, yeah, the funniest part of this beef? Mm. Metro being told, shut your whole ass up. And make some drums. And make some drums. He and then they made the craziest <laughs> shit. Because I had a Ooh, that shit is a bop. <laughs> Listen, this nigga is getting dissed by, by 11 year olds in Taiwan, 17 yeah, year olds. Yeah, I've seen but, a Japanese rapper. Yeah, well, he was trash though. But yeah, Hi. I love I, Japanese I, I, rappers, I, I, but I this one was I, trash. I, I this was I didn't hear super it. trash. Wait, you speak Japanese, nigga? No, not speak, but I can understand a oh. few things. Yes, I've been, I've but been, the problem I've been is, like, shit, even yeah. when it comes to rap, even when you don't speak the language, when yeah. you hear the. Like, you, I listen to a lot of Spanish rap, French. I don't understand what they're saying, yeah. but you can tell they are, they are, you know. They're writing the they're, flow. Yeah, even if, even yeah. when you don't understand, like, the words, you can tell when the rhymes yeah, are right, coming exact, together and exactly. stuff. Yeah, but on, yeah. on the Japanese dude, he didn't. I did, but for me, it wasn't even about, like, the yeah. challenge where, like, now rappers are doing the, 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 the challenge. Yeah. It was the fact that you were the first person in history to be dissed to do, by an instrumental, my beat. nigga. Come on. Yo, listen. And then Masego <laughs> went oh. in there. Yeah. yeah. Masego went in there and he did like a sax diss or something. <laughs> and then all of us were like, yo, what the hell did Drake do to Masego? So uh, apparently like on, what's, what was the, the Drake album with the pregnant girls? Mm. Um, he took the champagne poetry or something. Yeah, was was a sample of Masego's whatever, and I don't think he got enough credit. Oh, so he was like, you know what, fuck this, fuck this nigga. Yeah, Yo. everyone is like on some fuck this nigga. Yeah, he, I don't. Today in the morning, I'm, I don't know how true this is, mm. but today today in the morning, um, Universal Music Group mm-hmm. and some other 
record label yeah. were asking Drake, Nani, uh, Kendrick, Kendrick to step down, to st- stop the the beef and actually go online, like go on record and say, say that this he guy was is lying about being a, a, not a pedophile. But come on, Kendrick like the, the, the whatever is, the, I think Drake shot himself in the foot with that <laughs> one because like he's at, he's at concerts, yeah. he's like hanging out with teenage he's girls. Always DMing people. You feel me? Like yeah. So I'm sure there's like a hundred people out here who have lost their girl to Drake. Who exactly. Are there's this there's, shit. A, so there's like, a, a boy from Canada <laughs> who was talking about like, if you if you like a girl in school mm. and you see that Drake is following this girl, just mm. know it's, you it's ain't over. never like <laughs> how you gonna compete with Drizzy? Like, yeah. come on. They're like girls are always spending time at his house and stuff. Mm. So I yo, that one with the allegations of pedophilia. Kill, if they kill Michael Jackson for that shit, I think the same the same should happen to this. I'm not Do you really think that shit is gonna catch up with Drake like on some R. Kelly Bill Cosby not type really, shit? Really, but he's losing a lot of business. Uh Right behind now, behind the scenes, yeah, uh, behind the scenes. Right now, with it's crazy because you know Kendrick in the in uh, it was Meet the Grahams, I think, mm. or Six Sixteen in LA was like, if you're still associating with this nigga, we all looking at you. So everybody's just <laughs> everybody like, yo, like, yo, listen, I'm, I'm not like, yo, don't, don't fuck up my bag. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yo, it is, cr- it's crazy. Yo, Kendrick just decided yeah. to obliterate this guy because they were saying, um. When they were comparing this beef to the 50 and Ja Rule beef, mm. they were mm. like, uh, 50 completely destroyed Ja Rule and like hurt his pockets and stuff. Mm. But now we can see that almost the same trend yeah. is happening with Drake. If like Akina Nike, they were saying like some screenshot that was floating online mm. about, you know, there was a meeting. Kendrick is like, fuck that. I'm not <laughs> backing down. He wanted because this. This guy called him for nine years. And then. <clears throat> but Kendrick has also been like no. shooting back though. Yeah, but that was like quite stuff right yeah and then this guy went to nah 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 you're gonna <laughs> when he, oh, he that, was like don't try to back yeah, down i like follow it through yeah yeah yeah, yeah. He, did follow that. So he did say that he followed through so now you can't start begging him like oh chill out no not no, no, like no. us is yeah, such a say, fucking yeah. bob you guy candy man candy man <laughs> A minor. a minor and then they said i saw a theory that um when he said he pulled that uh, trying to circle call but something yeah. something a, a minor, minor yeah. is he was trying to mimic uh Nicki minaj <laughs> how she says barbie you know nikki's flow right yeah and nikki is married to a sexual offender Oh shit! You feel me? You feel me? Yeah, I was like, I thought, like the fuck. You're talking about Drake and the. Minor. I was like, this oh, nigga was yeah, writing. Surgical. This nigga was yeah. like, cause cause Nikki tried to tweet at you, wow, and then afterwards, <laughs> the guys were like, wow, ni ni nyamaza. Yo, it nah, was Drake, funny. Yo, it's over for you. Yo. B sharp nigga. But listen, anyway. it's it, it's over as as far as this beef is concerned. As far as like selling out. No, that that's yeah, you know him yeah. like he's still gonna be the dude. Yeah, people are gonna forget. You know the beauty of the internet and also like the ugliness of the internet is something else is gonna, gonna start trending up, yeah. and then guys are gonna forget yeah. about this. But yo, this has been but such I, an guess entertaining. Who I think he's just like waiting for this oh. shit to just Calm down a bit. Push. Oh. You know Push's album is coming out, right? Yo. And he, there were some shots in the I, last Drake album yes. that he never replied to. Oh my God. Oh, this thing is cool. Rap is alive. <laughs> Shout out to Kendrick as always because <laughs> he's, like lo- the, he's, he's the always guy, starting some shit. Yeah, he's always starting some shit and the culture starts talking about hip-hop again. Yeah. Although right now when you talk to these dummies online, yeah, the type of hip-hop they talk about is just like... Yeah, like, I know. Like, yeah. I know. Guys want to listen to like, mm. you know, uh, I don't care what they, I don't care what they listen to. Yeah. But when you start having conversations about hip-hop, yeah. don't bring out certain subjects. Don't... don't Come on. They don't they don't understand. Yeah, they don't okay. understand this shit. Yeah, yeah I know. So yeah. That's the only part I'm like. What a time to be alive in Drake's words, for <laughs> real. <laughs> but yeah, Drake. It's oh like, shit. Yo, it's been crazy. And you know, they also something that I would like us to discuss because I I, I don't think this is a thing that exists. Mm. Um so Kendrick did call out Drake for fucking f- having relations excuse my French, for having relations with Lil Wayne's girlfriend when mm, Lil when Wayne was in, was in jail. Was in jail. Mm. And then it came to be, it came to be said that, um, what's his face? 
uh, Little Wayne mm. actually rapped about this on Six Foot se- Seven Foot. Mm. I had my heart broken, but this woman named Tammy. But mm. hoes gonna be hoes, so I couldn't blame Tammy. So there was an interview where he was being asked, like, do you remember? And of course, Little Wayne, the drugs, the weed, mm. all course, that shit. Yeah. He's like, I don't remember shit. But mm. whatever it was, it mm. really happened. And he was talking about how hurt he was. Mm. Now, what I want to talk about, because he was like, you know, when you're in jail, even your side chick mm. is like your main chick. Like, if you don't get that phone call, whatever... Like it's, it's, you know, it's a stressful, heartbreaking situation. Mm. Does this male code, does this nigga code exist for real? Because I would think that you don't touch. Your friend's girl. Yeah. Your friend, your mentor, this is the person who's responsible for your career being at whatever point it was. I think it varies with different people. I don't think I can speak for all guys. It just varies. Let's, let's talk about old man Zach's perspective. Me, my, my perspective is. Yes. Even the like chick i'm really like trying to tap once i know who the guy is mm. it puts the fuck off like i i can't do it anymore. wait if you know if you know the guy but not if you don't know the guy if right? i know the guy okay if like i'm trying to holler at you mm-hmm. and then i know this is your guy mm-hmm. and you were with him last night <laughs> <laughs> that's what you think about you're not thinking about like, like this the yeah, homie yeah i'm like no nah, i can't i can't do that then. but if you I'm don't know the guy then it's fine if i don't know the guy shit fuck him but i but i feel like that that code is we're talking about like friends if if you're trying yeah, to friends, highlight me friends is a no-no for for me yeah so like, drake had no if if drake so i'm thinking like if drake didn't have any problem cr- crossing that line hmm. or like you know violating that boundary you can imagine for the niggas it doesn't give a fuck oh, about shit, that and he raps about it. That's the problem. Exactly. He exactly. He raps about it in songs. Exactly. So Georgia like he, Smith's guy, I you, feel bad for. <laughs> which Smith's guy? Georgia Smith. You know oh chick, yeah. right. That, oh, oh my god. He shitted on that dude. Oh my god. Guy was just chilling somewhere. He didn't even do nothing. <laughs> Jake was like, fuck that. <laughs> fuck you. I'm in this, yo. But he deserved everything. You know, people be... I don't really think like the, the bro code exists like that. It because doesn't. It doesn't. I've had, I've had like, you know, a couple friends of people that I actually know try to, you know, slide. Yeah. And it's like, nigga. Yeah. Why would you even try something like that? So like the Drake allegations against, you know, him having yeah. sex with Lil Wayne's girl when he, she was Lil Wayne's girl. Mm. I was like, this is not surprising. Yeah, Squeeze it to Nika, kill him to a konanja. Yeah. You get in there, you get yours and get and the fuck get out. The fuck Leave out. her to deal with her yeah. own problems. <laughs> Somebody who's actually like been talking about this shit, who's been side chick business. Mm. Did you see Oparanya coming out to be like, yo, yeah, that was in. That's my. I did not have sexual relations <laughs> with that woman. Yo, they ended up. <laughs> they ended up clearing the air though. Yeah. And this shorty was like, "He's a polygamous man. The wives are so happy." So who the fuck was taking those pictures? She said because they, they looked like they knew the pictures were being taken. W- it's not like like. Some According to an paparazzi. interview that I watched, mm. uh, they were coming in from I don't know where at mm. the airport. Mm. It was for two canoes, mm. and they were asking, you know, this girl. Oparanya, of course, was like, "Fuck that! I'm not about this life." First of all, it was so cute. They were in matching outfits. They were in <laughs> both in all white. <laughs> you and your side. <laughs> said, this is funny. Hey, and your 2024. Cat Williams said, "This is the year of truth." Yeah. So they're, like, they're walking into, you know, they're walking out of the airport, mm. and the reporters are there, like, like, "Oh, can we have a minute?" And you can tell this chick is hungry for some media yeah. time because mm. she was like, "Ah, ah, kuja," like trying to tell this guy, like, "Yo, let's just do the interview." Yeah. But he walks off. So eventually they get a hold of the shorty and they're asking her like some hard ass questions that she didn't want to answer. Like, mm. uh, do the wives know about you? Mm. She's like, I think that's private. Let's not talk about that. I'm like, girl, <laughs> a mic is in your face. Don't start telling me like this is yeah. private. I can't talk about this. I can't talk about this. Yeah. But then she she did say that, yeah, he's, she, he's a polygamous man. Mm. And of course, she's not going to claim I'm the side chick because she was asked, now, are you married? She's like, I think that's also private. I'm like, <laughs> girl, you ain't telling what us shit. What about him? What did he say? He ain't say shit. He ain't say shit? He, I think there was a clip that, that popped up on the internet where he was like, yo, I have a wife and I'm, I'm mm. happy and I'm good. Mm. 
Yeah, but Shorty said, yep, that relationship is actually real. And they were saying that the pictures were leaked mm. and that they, they will, be, so clear they will be taking legal action. I'm like, no, mm-hmm. fuck yeah, that's what fuck <laughs> that was, yeah. I was like, yeah. yo, side chick, stand up. I mean, sometimes yeah. sometimes you got to bulldoze your way into, into, like, some shit, <laughs> into like, the main. Yeah. Nah, don't do that, ladies. <laughs> I try to do that shit, actually. You got punched? <laughs> no, I'm just asking. Like, you know, I got to talk about this shit. Did you, did you get punched? <laughs> okay. No. So what happened? What? <laughs> no, yeah. I wasn't a side chick. Mm. Oh, no. you were the main. I was like in the sidelines. Okay. No, like as in we were, you know, just grown adults trying to, you know, oh. we were like, to, not. No, no, I'm just, I'm listening. I'm you don't, saying shit. You, know, you don't need, you don't need to be in a relationship to fuck though. I didn't. Yo, did you? Is that what you? Did I, I thought no. you said. Okay, no, fine. I cool. didn't say that. We were just Jeez. two adults. We were like, we like each other, blah mm. blah blah. So I try to be like, you know what? Mm. Fuck it, you and me. We're gonna do this thing. Mm. Don't ever try that shit. Because mm. they were trying to say, um, uh, the only way that you know you're someone's girlfriend is if they ask you, can you be my girlfriend? Mm. And the fellas were like, nah, a woman who really just likes you will assume position. I try to do that <laughs> shit. This nigga texted me LOL back. I said, <laughs> I said, bitch, get the fuck out of here. LOL? I was, yeah, he, LOL mm. and the emoji. Oh, shit. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Austin is really <laughs> laughing at me for real. <laughs> Don't bulldoze your way into anything. Mm. Please. Just go to your yes. This is anyway. this is how it is. But yeah, it's been a very interesting it's week, big, man. Yeah, we're about to go because uh Yeah. Today oh. it's a short one because it's a short know, one. Yeah, we're on a timer. Yeah, no time. Yeah. And before yeah. we leave, mm-hmm. I wanna talk to some gentlemen out here. Come okay. on, guys. Um <clears throat> what's this? Yo, don't be out here smelling like goats. And I, by goats, I don't, I'm not talking about... You remember what we said, yeah, deodorant, yeah, deodorant, deodorant, guys. So I, I got you some shit. I will, serious inquiries only, I got a couple of these left. Okay. Uh, and these are like the big sticks. They're not the small one paws. That's what he said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so the sizes of these ones are different from what you would, you will find in your local supermarkets. Uh, so I'll put the price. Foreign, uh, foreign, yeah. foreign. Actually, Speak I'll do. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do. I'll do. What do you call it? I'll, I'll go take pictures of everything I have because yeah. this is. I just came with a couple of samples. Okay. If you've never heard of this shit, Manhattan Night Cup. <laughs> let, me, let me see this shit. Shit is. I got no man. Dope. But... Yeah. So, okay. anyways, yeah. So I'll put all this in the. Oh, this uh, is nice. Yeah. So, get guys, this. get your shit right. These women out here don't want you to smell like Yeah, no don't more. be out here smelling musty. <laughs> At least, please. Yeah. You know that clip actually, like, I think it's one of the most viral clips that we've had. Yeah, know? so yeah. after Ruby talked shit about y'all smelling, <laughs> I decided to help you guys. And this is my contribution <laughs> to the planet. Uh, let's <laughs> Yo, subscribe, fam. Drop a comment. How you feeling about this whole beef situation? You can also update us with what's been happening in your lives yeah. in the comment section. Subscribe. Make sure that you follow us on social media at Pond for Breakfast, TikTok, Instagram. We will catch you next week for episode thirty-five. Yeah. Peace. Peace.